An MPS is a net up private storage. It's a FOSS system racked and cabled in a co-location close to the public cloud. Uh, basically, it's a native cloud architecture. And uh, co-location is a data center that offers connection to public clouds. And it's located near the cloud providers data centers. Why MPS? The advantage of having your secondary offsite backup on the MPS gives you the ability to have control of your data. You do not move your data into the cloud. You choose which cloud you want to use. You can change cloud without migrating your data to avoid cloud lock-in. You choose when you want to use the cloud and when you don't want to use the cloud and how you want to use it in terms of DR, test dev and analytics. Manage your data between the public clouds and move your application between the clouds. Another important aspect is cost. It's free to put your data into the cloud. Ingress bandwidth is free, but not to store your data at rest. Egress traffic can be quite significant. So using a co-location with Direct Connect, you pay only one sixth compared to using a VPN. And then we have performance. Using a co-location and Direct Connect setup, we get an average latency well below five milliseconds. And the secret source that enables this are the NetApp data management tools. Just to show you how easy cloning to the cloud can be done, we will show you an example using SAP HANA. The picture illustrates our SAP HANA environment. In the green section, we have our on-prem SAP environment consisting of one Linux with SAP HANA installed, P01 instance, one Linux VM with Snap Creator and a fast NetApp cluster. We have a VPN between on-prem and co-location in Frankfurt where we have our MPS installed in the red section. And there is a direct connect established between co-location and AWS in the yellow section. In AWS, we have built a VPC, a virtual private cloud. We need a VPC to be able to launch instances in AWS. In this VPC, we have launched a Linux VM with Snap Creator and SAP installed. From our Sapana environment on-prem, we will do a backup and then clone to the cloud. We will do this by extending our SAP HANA environment to MPS and AWS. Storage on MPS and compute from AWS. We create a backup of P01, our source system, using Snap Creator GUI. This task also initiates the replication of P01 to MPS at the co-location. We then create a clone of the replicated P01 on the MPS using Snap Creator GUI. After cloning, Snap Creator also mounts Q01 into AWS. And as a final step, we register and rename instance P01 to Q01 in AWS and start SAP running. With this setup, we have in minutes created a clone of our on-prem environment, ready to be used in the cloud of our choice. MPS enables our customers to connect to public cloud without moving their data into the cloud.